Hey YouTube, uh, just a few updates on the Traxxas X01 project. Um, did some work on the, the fan today. And uh, just some simple Dremel work, but at any rate, um, I tried to keep it as clean as I could and make it as fit as well as I could um, to be able to trim this and, and make everything fit. Um, one thing I did make sure was on the side of the air dam that blows cool air up on the motor that it's you know it's not going to be sealed sealed but to where the air comes in can come up underneath the fan and then blow on that motor to help keep it cool um, then we also added the magnetic body mounts um, not sure how well these are going to work yet but we will find out um, if not we can always go back to the stock body mounts but one thing I want to bring up, guys, um, the X01 comes with a Castle Mamba Monster 2 ESC with basically a cat pack and a sensor installed on it. Um, but they say this is a Castle motor, but the, here's where my question lies. Um, man, I've had a ton of Castle motors. And none of them have ever come with wires that are like this, this stiff. And this brings my next point, guys. Um, bear with me here. I'll even give you the Traxxas part number. This is a Valenian... What is it? 3551R. This is one of their tent scale expensive motors. And uh, I had one of these extra. I can always solder it up or whatever and use it on another truck, car, or whatever. But these are the wires that come with it. And they put this some type of uh, coating on here or tubing for heat. But yeah, the wires are very coarse and there's very few of them, as you can see. Um, Again, I've purchased quite a few Castle and Antique and Motors, and I'm not saying, you know, you have to run those. I'm not saying that, but this this is the only point that I bring up. When you get a Castle or a Antique and Motor, ESC, whatever, these are the wires they provide. Very fine, well-braided wire. Um, I think Tekken is silver and Castle's... Um, gold or copper whatever you want to call it but at any rate they're both this fine they're very pliable but you know my question is do they handle more current I, I i can't answer that at this point but i have never seen a castle motor from castle with wires that do this i mean technically from what i've seen when you've been a wire from Castle or Tekken or whatever, it just it's very pliable. These aren't. So, you know, maybe it's half Traxxas, half Castle. I don't know, but that's one question I have. So, guys, if any of you know any anything about the wiring, please let me know because I'm curious about that. Um, and if it doesn't affect performance, that's fine. But it just this doesn't seem like the wiring I've always got on my other stuff. Whether it's, you know, 18th scale, 10th scale. I've done work at the shop on 5th scales and 8th scales. And I've never seen a, a typical factory castle motor with wires as stiff. So, again, if you know anything, let me know. Um, other than that, that's about pretty much where we stand with the X01 upgrade so far. Um, we are going to do a motor upgrade. Not for sure exactly which one yet, but I'll be doing a video when we do the motor upgrade on this. It'll be a castle motor, um, more than likely. And then uh, hopefully I can get the Fataba transmitter and receiver hooked up and then uh, do a tune on the ESC. Uh, not 100% sure where the ESC is going to go yet, guys. Um, power cable is ready. I'm going to put some shrink wrap over here to 
pretty things up a little bit more. Um, I don't know exactly where we're going to mount the ESC to where I can get the the motor wires and the uh, battery wires to you know be functional. Um, it may even maybe even sit on the rail here. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but we'll get the scales out and uh, put a scale on each tire and see where the weight's at and all that and try to balance this thing out as well as we can. But uh, yeah, there's where we stand with the XO One project. Guys, got any questions or comments? Please let me know. Thanks, guys, and have a great night.